Where's your butter knife? This one's actually uh, like a steak knife. It can cut. <laughs> it's uh, my other bigger one that I didn't sharpen it right. I still got a blunt butter knife. But this will do for today. This particular beam is uh, Yonsun by Yonsun, or about 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. So it's quite a big beam for a uh, footing, for the foundation footing. This connection right here is called Obiki, which is a uh, pretty common connection when you're building the foundation beams for a house in Japan. Um, this particular section right here is 90 by 90 by 15 millimeters deep. And the beam will actually just slide in this, this way and it'll rest perpendicular to uh, these main bigger beams. So I'm about to cut this joint right here. It's an Audi, but it's a very special Audi because it's got a tapered angle to it. Um, so you gotta be careful when you're cutting it with the uh, circular saw. Uh, one side of the Audi or one side of this dovetail is actually a little bit wider than the other side is a little bit more narrow. So it's actually a tapered uh, dovetail. What we'll do is we'll take the circular saw and we'll cut the sides here. And then we'll take a uh, noko or a handsaw and we'll cut it vertically and we'll try to cut the, get as much of this material off. And then after that, we'll just finish it with the nomi or with the chisel. So it's gonna be um, a little bit difficult of a joint to cut, but it's actually a very important joint. It's a pretty clean cut. Normally, uh, if it's a little bit um, not or it's sticking out too far, you can just take a planer and just uh, kind of flatten it. But this is perfectly flat. So now that I got my primary cuts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my noko and try to cut it on an angle um, to remove this. Uh, more of more of this pieces off but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take a uh, sashigane I'm gonna make a mark the uh, actual angle of this uh, dovetail and that way I'll have a guide for when I do the uh, the noko so now we're gonna use the uh, ryobo ryoba ryoba uh, noko giri ryobo noko I'm going to use this cross-cutting um, side first, just to make my score. And then I'm going to switch to this for the uh, along the grain. I'll take the nomi and knock away uh, as much as I can.
So that's pretty good. It's cleaned up. So that's it for this joint. It's uh, I'm just going to take a uh, take a planer and just kind of hit these edges to get a little bit of relief on there, a little mentori. So and this will be ready. That's it, finished. Came out good.